Today we're going to talk about the KuCoin registration process. KuCoin probably is one of the easiest cryptocurrency exchanges to get registered. When I say registration process, I mean to, to be able to sign up and use. It's probably by far one of the easiest, the fastest to use, especially for uh, the U.S. market. I'm going to also tell you one of the things I've, I've not used KuCoin at this point. I've done a lot of research. I've decided to start using it um, for a couple of reasons. And before we get into the actual demonstration, one is it's known as a people's exchange. So 90% of all the fees generated from KuCoin, 90% goes back to the KuCoin users, or at least the, the KuCoin shareholders. KuCoin basically has their own coin. And 90% of the fees go back to the holders of those coins. The other thing about KuCoin is they have the largest or pretty close to the largest number of altcoins available to be able to trade of any of the major exchanges. Um, and so that that's another reason why I like them and I want to start using them. But the one reason I, I like them is because they're so freaking easy to use. By the way, if you like KuCoin or you want to learn more about KuCoin, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to start putting out periodically some more videos. I'm going to create a whole playlist just for KuCoin. The basics of using it, how to trade, how I trade on KuCoin, um, et cetera, et cetera. Plus news that's going on, how you can earn passively with the KuCoin shares, how you can increase the passive earnings from the KuCoin shares. Those are just some of the topics I've thought about for an entire playlist. But we're getting started from the beginning, the basics of just getting signed up. So I'll put a link in the description if you want to start using KuCoin, but all you have to do is come to sign up. Like it literally is one of the easiest to use. Just put in your email address. That's weird. Oh, it kind of does that. Hang on. There we go. So just put in your email address. Send code. Traffic lights, bicycles, send successfully. So now I'll just log in to my email and I'll grab that code. Hang on. Here's what the code looks like. So we will go back over to, I was in Mozilla. There we go. Next. Login, password, confirm your password. All right, bear with me. Okay, I want to make sure it wasn't going to display my password. And then Refer code optional. I am using a referral code from a friend of mine and it's not showing up. It was just there. That's a problem. Always double check to make sure the referral code is there. I want my buddy to get credit. So hang on one minute. Let me just, I might have to do this all over again, actually. Oh, that's not going to work. All right, bear with me. All right, we're back here. All I did was had them basically, I went right back through the process. And now double check my referral code, but I do have it copy and paste in case it's not there. I got my referral code. I always want to make certain people get credit if I use their links. All right, don't save. That's never wise. All right. So here we go. Now all you need to do to make a deposit is just come here, click deposit. And then to be able to trade, once you have a deposit in, you'll just click over here to be able to trade. Um, just to give you some a couple of things, first of all, the exchange is, is pretty simple. Like it's a pretty good layout if you're familiar with exchanges at all. If not, I'll be covering this a little bit more in another tutorial. But just uh, just my internet's running a little bit slow. Waiting for it to populate. It's still loading here. But every I mean it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Well, I will. Let me see. Like I said, I'll be doing some more. I'm just trying to. I'll be doing some more videos on on 
trading and, and there's ways to make this larger, I'm sure. And I'll be working on that in another video. Um, one thing I want to point out, one of the things that makes KuCoin so interesting is the KuCoin shares. So if we come back to the main page, and you come down here and you look at, like I want to talk about their KuCoin system, KuCoin shares. So you can buy KuCoin uh, shares on, from, on, from the KuCoin exchange. But just come down, what is KuCoin shares? KuCoin shares are the ecological token of the KuCoin exchange platform. They're an ERC-20 decentralized digital asset built on Ethereum. The total supply of KuCoin shares is constant at 200 million and will not be reissued in non-special cases. The allocation for the founding team and early investors is 100 million and the amount publicly available for users is 100 million. Institutional investors, how to use KuCoins. KuCoin bonus. The KuCoin platform will use 50% of all trading fees earned by KuCoin to buy KuCoin shares from the market. That's important. They buy it straight from the market and then redistribute them to KuCoin shareholders who hold at least six KuCoin shares as a bonus. So you only need at least six KuCoin shares, which I will absolutely be buying those. VIP rate. KuCoin shares can enjoy a discounted trading rate as a VIP, which can be as low as 0.0125%. So basically for every, I think it's every thousand KuCoin shares, you get a 1% discount, all the way up to a 30% discount that you can get on your trading fees. So that's pretty awesome. KuCoin shareholders will be able to enjoy more airdrop uh, giveaways on the KuCoin platform. Uh, you can get a loan on ETHLAND using KuCoin. You can send KCS to anyone. Um, you can see they, they work accept your uh, KCS from your customers with coin payments. They even work with PundiX. I mean, there's there's so many things they're doing. The issue price, 22 cents. Well, right now the price is over a dollar, dollar ten. Um, total market cap. You can see the supply. They periodically burn. KuCoin shares in accordance with the KCS white paper. KuCoin use 10% of profits to implement the KCS buyback and burn, where KuCoin shares is purchased from the market and then burnt. Users can track the records on the blockchain. And these are showing you the burns, how much is getting burned. Um, and then you can, of course, buy them. You can also buy them just straight on the platform. KuCoin shares, so I told you they would. what they do is they distributed 90% of the fees. By the way, that's your current price. They distribute 90% of the fees. So what they do with the other 10% is they have a referral program. So anybody, if you have someone who you refer to KuCoin, then they, you will get 40% of the fees generated by that customer. 50% goes, so 40% comes from your own customers will, and you'll get paid. And that's another thing, they pay you in KuCoin shares. And you can just sell them for Bitcoin if you want on the exchange or you can just hold them. That's awesome because like a lot of different platforms like Binance and whatnot, they always paid you in, hang on, I wanna see if I can, okay. Binance and whatnot always paid you in whatever token that the person was trading. So if they were trading EOS, you got a small percentage of EOS. So you ended up with all these little micro fragments of tokens. And it was just a, it was, it was not as convenient. I'll put it that way. I'm not going to say it was a pain, but it wasn't as convenient. But with KuCoin, they always pay you in KuCoin shares. So that's super, super simple. I'll be covering KuCoin shares more uh, in upcoming videos. If you want to get registered with KuCoin, like I'm already registered, like I'm literally about to make a deposit right now. Um, and I will be, in fact, I will go ahead and, and make that deposit now just to show you how to do that. That way we don't have to, we can do it together. So, okay. By the way, they do have an app. So, I want to make a deposit. Come here. Oh, I want to talk about KYC. KYC is optional KuCoins. And if you don't, then all that happens is you limit your withdrawals to two Bitcoins per day, which the average small investor, that's not a problem. If you do KYC, you can withdraw up to 100 per day. But no one's, the average person is not withdrawing 100 BTC a day. So that's super, I think that's incredible that they give you the option. You, you don't have to do it. Um, you can set up two-factor authentication, which I highly recommend you do. Now let's look at how to deposit. I'm trying to figure that out real quick. Mm 
main account, trading account, there we go. So you come here to deposit, deposit, withdrawal history, deposit. To ensure the account security, please enable, ah, oh, they want you to set up trading password. Okay. I've already done the trading password, I think. So to do this, you just click edit. Send code. The good news is it looks like they strongly value security. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I just put in the email code, and when I did, they gave me this Google QR code. I will blur this out in the video just because you don't need to have access to the, my Google uh, QR code. But it's it's pretty simple. You can download the Google Authenticator on your app, on your phone, on your device. It's very easy to download. And then you just simply scan it, which I just did. And then it gives you a code. You enter in that code. As long as you, you always need to have your mobile device with you. Click activate and you are done. Okay. Next. Um, let's go back to, I probably need to set up a trading password. So we'll do that. Google verification code. Again, that comes from, that just is going to come from my Authenticator app. The trading password is a newly added security mechanism on Platform 2.0 known as a six-digit password used for important operations such as transaction withdrawal and API. Please be noted that the trading password is not two-factor authentication. Okay, I understand. So they want me to come up with a trading password right now. Okay, confirm. Don't save. Okay, I should have that. Now I should be able to make a deposit, I think. I'll look at some of this other stuff later. I just want to make a deposit so you can see that. Okay, let's come back. Deposit withdrawal. Deposit. Select a deposit. I'm going to deposit BTC. The address is now allowed to deposit other assets other than BTC, and any other asset deposit will be recovered, will not be recovered. That's important to pay attention to. The deposit transaction will be automatic, blah, blah, blah. You want to send me a tip? You can send me a Bitcoin deposit right here. All right, so I will make a quick deposit here. Ah. Uh, I can't do that. I just realized I can't make a deposit. So that's how you would deposit. The reason I can't make a deposit is because I was going to make a deposit. I'm actually transferring from another account. Um, I have some BTC in a, a different account that requires KYC, and it just annoys me the way they did the KYC. Um, basically, it was they let me deposit just fine, and when I went to the withdrawal, and the only reason I used that exchange was because I had a, a an altcoin, a crap coin that I was trying to sell out of, and I got about three hundred dollars worth of BTC over there. And when I went to withdraw it, then they made me do the KYC. And I thought, what? I don't mind doing KYC if I know it ahead of time, but it feels like I'm being forced. So I could easily bring crypto in, but when I went to take it out, they require KYC. So that's annoying. I just realized that. So in order to make a deposit, you just, you would send your BTC to this address. Um, the deposit transaction will be automatic and the BTC transfer will need to be confirmed by the entire BTC network and your BTC will automatically be deposited to your account. After two confirmations, this address is the only one you can use on your own and you can do multiple recharging at the same time, which means you can do multiple deposits at the same time. Um, they will allow you to buy crypto with a credit card, but you have to do KYC to be able to do that. I'm not concerned about that. I do have a Coinbase account that I will buy cryptocurrency with. Chances are this isn't going to work for North American holders anyway, um, so I'm probably not even worried about that. This has been the first tutorial on how to get set up with KuCoin and how to make a deposit using the KuCoin trading platform. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get started with KuCoin. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer any questions that you may have. I think KuCoin is going to be the best long-term cryptocurrency exchange, at least for now, primarily for ease of use, the way they serve the market. I mean, they will literally list so many different altcoins 
Um, they are they don't have a lot of stringent regulations on being able to list an altcoin. Um, I think it's going to be a, a great exchange to use. The coin the KuCoin shares are good. I mean, you can earn basically between five to seven percent, ten percent, depending on at what price you buy your KuCoin shares for. Um, I'll definitely be buying at least six of those shares, maybe more. Um, so if you would like to use this exchange, just click the link down below. It's not going to cost you anything. It will definitely help out my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification icon. Give me a thumbs up. I will tell you future plans are to make more videos. I'm going to create a playlist called the KuCoin, uh, probably a KuCoin playlist or whatever, KuCoin tutorial playlist. And I'm going to cover uh, not just you know setting up, which is this video, deposit, withdrawals. I'm going to be covering more in-depth on the KuCoin shares. I'm going to be covering how to trade, different trade strategies that I'll use for KuCoin, how, uh, how I earn passive my passive strategies and even passive trading strategies using the KuCoin exchange. Also, on my channel in general, I oftentimes cover cryptocurrency assets, I mean, and I cover cryptocurrency projects, specifically projects that allow the ability to be able to earn passive cryptocurrency. I believe in the future of cryptocurrency and the blockchain technology. I believe the number one use case for cryptocurrency will be used uh, as a blockchain currency such as Bitcoin. I believe the number two best use case will be some sort of a blockchain decentralized application platform, whether it's Ethereum, Tron, etc. And that's the sort of stuff that I talk about on this channel. So if, if those are topics that you want to learn more about and stay abreast with, then be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned until next time.